Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well and having a beautiful start to your new year. In my last video, I shared with you guys how I curl my hair with the Dyson Air Wrap, which is the better way to curl your hair with, with a lot less heat damage. But every once in a while, we all love to wear our hair straight and using hot tools to straighten your hair like blow dryers and ceramic straighteners, strip your hair of moisture, causing breakage and damage to your hair and it makes your hair look dry and coarse over time that's why flat wrapping your hair is a great alternative and it's actually one of the most popular ways to get your hair straight without using heat but not everyone knows how to do it effectively today I'm going to show you guys the easiest and fastest way to wrap your hair this is seriously so easy I can do it with my eyes closed in bed and it is my go-to trick to get my hair sleek and straight overnight so before we get started on today's video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and with all of that said let's get to it all right guys so before i wash my hair i figured i would show you guys the before really quickly so this is my natural hair i just brushed it out right now but you can see it's kind of curly wavy and frizzy but if you want to wrap your hair you really need to start with a damn hair so you really need to get your hair wet because it's easier to comb your hair out and stretch it straight when it is wet that's why i usually like to do this after i shower and i normally shower at night it is also nice to be able to straighten your hair overnight because this can help you save time in the morning but you can also just spread some water onto your hair if you don't want to shower but it is my shower day so i'm just going to hop into the shower wash this hair and i'll be back now i just got out of the shower my hair is clean and conditioned and i'm just going to brush out any tangles or knots i'm using a wide tooth comb but you can use a hairbrush if you prefer and you just want to brush out your hair thoroughly and at this point you can also massage some leave-in conditioner into the bottom half of your hair because this part has less natural oil to protect it so it can look dry i'm not going to do that because i just actually used some deep conditioning hair mask in the shower and that's another thing you really don't want to use a lot of products because your hair can turn out looking greasy and dirty and we don't want that so just make sure to brush it out thoroughly from the bottom to the top Okay, now I'm going to put all of my hair behind my head and I'm going to use a comb to part my hair in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now in the back of my head, I'm going to cross the right side over the left and to bring them both to the front. For now, I'm just using my chin to hold the other side down and I'm going to take this section of hair and to brush it through and holding my hair taut, I'm going to bring it to the front of my head and wrap it around as if it's a headband. You can use a fine tooth comb to comb it out flat and you really want to make sure this is really tight and smooth. And now you can use poppy pins to pin it to your head. Use as many as you need to make sure your hair will not unravel, especially since we're going to sleep with this in overnight. All right, now we are halfway done. We just have to repeat this technique on the other side. So start brushing your hair from the back of your head and bring it to the front. Now lay it flat on top of the other half and once you're happy with it, just secure the section with bobby pins. Now, if you choose to sleep with your hair wrapped, be sure to cover it with a scarf or a head wrap to secure it. But I really recommend using a silk bonnet. This really protects your hair from frizzing and it keeps everything in place. But it is really not necessary. A lot of time I didn't use anything and my hair still hold, especially now that all of my hair is one length. Now, if you have layers in your hair, I can imagine this is a very important step because you don't want short strands of hair to fall out of the wrap but i really like this because it always makes my hair straighter and smoother and of course if you're not going to sleep with this in your hair you don't have to cover your hair just make sure your hair is completely dry before you take it out so if you do it in the morning just make sure to leave your hair wrapped for about 8 to 12 hours Good morning guys, so I just got myself ready, but before I get dressed, I thought I can take this down and show you guys the after. 
I really like using a silk bonnet when I sleep and what I like most about this one is that I don't have an indentation on my forehead from an elastic or string this one has the elastic band at the back so you only have the smooth fabric in the front of your forehead which is really nice and I really like that it fits well it doesn't slip off while I'm sleeping and also it's not so tight that it becomes uncomfortable or leaves pressure points so now I'm just going to take my pins out and to bring my hair down I'm just going to take a hairbrush and brush my hair down so your hair should look straight like this I do this very much every single time I shower and I'm always surprised at how well it works like you guys have seen how frizzy my hair can get but the fact that I can actually straighten it out and get it looking sleek like this without any heat it is just my favorite now if you don't have face framing pieces and short bangs you're good to go you can do whatever you want with your hair but because I do have short bangs I don't like the fact that they are right now just stuck to my head so what I'm going to do I'm going to spray some water on them and blow dry them so we can finish the look all right guys this literally took me less than five minutes and I really love this because this is not only better for my hair but it also saves me so much time time because my hair is long so it usually takes me more than an hour if I want to do it properly but when I do this at night it takes me no time at all to get ready in the morning like you guys saw I just have to touch up my bangs and I'm good to go and if I want to curl my hair the first step is already done because like you guys know if you want to curl frizzy hair you really have to straighten it out first and my natural hair it's not straight if I don't do this wrap after I shower my hair it's like a hot frizzy mess in the morning so I really hope you guys give this a shot and let me know how it works for you this is absolutely an easy and a great way to wrap your hair this can help protect your ends at night and make sleep hair styles last longer because even if you blow out your hair you can do this at night and this will allow your blow out to last longer since this method keeps your strands strategically tucked away so you'll be able to skip fixing frizzy strands in the morning or using hot tools to perfect your style decreasing your chances of heat damage but that's all I got for you guys today I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye